Happy 4th of July 2010. This is my review on the movie Eclipse. I have, I didn't think that I had much to say about it. I planned on making a video and just being like, eh. But then I was having a discussion with somebody and I thought of a lot of things to say. So, first of all, I'd like to say that there's no cell phone reception in La Push. If you want cell phone reception, you've got to go up to Third Beach, or you have to go all the way down to the water, and when I was down there, all I could do was send text messages, and barely, it took forever and ever. So that's why when Bella was calling La Push, she kept getting Jacob's voicemail because there's no reception down there. That also happened in one of the movies when she went down there. I don't know if it was in the movie or in the book. And Ed, she had to call Edward's like, take your cell phone. And she had to call him to come get her. So let's see, what else did I have to say? Um, I don't think the guy that plays Jacob does a very good job playing a native. His character was really dark and in the movie that we, in the books, from my perspective as a Native American woman, he comes off as hilariously funny. So I was really disappointed when I was watching that part because Jacob was not funny. And the other thing is, is that during the movie, there's, um, if you haven't read the book, there's a lot of mind reading that's going on. Um, and I think they depicted it a little bit, but not as well it was in the book. Um, you know that Jacob's thinking awful thoughts when he's holding Bella and Edward's just like cringing and getting mad, but it was hilarious in the book. It was kind of funny in the movie. Hmm, what else did I have to say? The fight scene. I brought my boyfriend with me to go see it and if they want to attract more guys in the movie then they need to do slow-mo in the fight scene because the fight scene was pretty awesome except for that it was like two minutes long because of course they're fast and they're vampires so they're supposed to be really fast when they fight but a slow-mo would have been great to be able to see some of those body limbs flying around the other thing, I really liked how they kept showing Brie Tanner. Made me wonder if they're going to make a Brie Tanner movie. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. Let's see. What positive thing do I have to say? Um, I wanted to see Sam more in the movie. Um, that inner dialogue though, you know, where the wolves are talking to each other silently that was missed. Oh, that was the other. The, my last point is that Jacob and the other wolves, when they become like a wolf, they're supposed to be like, you know, this is according to the book. It's fictional. Um, they're supposed to grow huge and be like six feet tall or <laughs> almost seven feet tall is what I meant. So that was one of the things that throughout the books, when you're reading them, they just kept growing and growing and growing and growing and that didn't happen. So, anywho, this is my first movie review that I'm doing. So, leave me some comments and some feedback and let me know what you think. Thanks and have a happy 4th of July.